So, I thought I'd do a video on thrifting online because a lot of people have taken to shopping online on like fast fashion brands because it's a lot more convenient and maybe faster shipping and they think it's less dangerous buying from a warehouse instead of someone's home but actually it's having such horrible effects on everyone. A lot of the time you'll find that fast fashion is really unethical and unsustainable anyway but during lockdown it's even worse because there are actually people working in these warehouses all over the world trying to make clothes for you and orders have skyrocketed since lockdown started. There are so many more people buying online in bulk and not really thinking about the effects that it has because there's so many people out there who are being made to work in these warehouses and if they go on sick or if they have to self-isolate they're not getting paid they're not getting the sick pay that they're meant to be getting they are going on unpaid leave instead because they need people in the factories to be working that is only because so many people are putting orders in so what I want to talk to you about today is how you can carry on thrifting during lockdown. If you buy on secondhand apps like Depop or Vinted, it means that you are supporting people who may have lost their jobs because of this and they're not being allowed to work or who are on furlough so they're only getting 80% of their original wage and so by shopping on Depop or Vinted you'll be helping them build up that extra 20% which could help them so so much in a time like this. I have a few little like tips and tricks for you to use when you are trying to thrift online. There are so many online apps for thrifted items. There is Vinted, Depop, Poshmark, eBay. Oh my god, there's so many more, I can't remember them. So look online and there are independent sellers who really do need your help and by doing this you are getting your shopping fix but you're supporting small businesses and brands as well. Okay, so you have the apps. You've also got clothes swaps. A lot of this clothing that I have here to show you, and I've literally got so much, it's ridiculous, but a lot of this clothing is actually from clothes swaps. So me and some of my friends, we've done a little, it's less of a clothes swap because I haven't given them any of my things. For me, I've actually had friends who've just cleared out their wardrobes and they've sent like they've just brought all the stuff for me and left it outside or I've gone to pick it up so I've been picking up bags and bags of stuff from people who've been clearing out their wardrobes during lockdown some of the stuff that I didn't want from those bags I've been selling on Vinted and Depop and some of it I've got in a big bag waiting to be donated to the charity shops afterwards so if all of you are going through your wardrobes you can just text each other photos of your clothes and you can arrange a swap you can do it by post or go pick it up as long as you leave it out outside the doorstep and things yeah another thing you can do is go through your family's wardrobes now for me anyway I've been looking at some of my mum's clothes and trying to style that or my sister's clothes and sometimes even my dad's clothes because he has a lot of like oversized Ralph Lauren which is beautiful so yeah look through some of your family's stuff and see what you can use of theirs you could also just go through your own wardrobe I've been going through my wardrobe all the time, cutting things up, bleaching, you can do tie-dye, you can patchwork, there is so much you can do with clothes you already have, whether you're looking through it and wearing old clothes and styling them with new clothes to make a whole new outfit, or whether you are turning something old that you never really used into something amazing that now you use all the time. Another thing that I've actually seen in the past week or so just over a week it was last sunday that a friend showed it to me but you can actually find online car boot sales yeah i got told about peckham car boot sale and they're doing an online boot sale from their instagram so basically they have people send photos and prices of everything that they want to sell it's like five items per seller and then on their story on Instagram they put up all the pictures and the prices and they tag the seller and so if you want the item you can message the seller and discuss like postage and prices like negotiate and things just on a separate chat with them and it is honestly it's so good so definitely have a look it's on Sundays and it starts like 10 10 30 yeah it's so good, honestly, it's unreal. 
I thought I'd give you a little side tip as well for using Vinted and Depop. Those are the two that I'm most used to, but I'm sure it works similar in the other apps as well. But when you're using those two, when I go charity shopping, I like to do it because I'm browsing and I don't know what I could find. So what I've been doing is thinking of a limit for what I'd want to spend on an item. If you think about in the charity shops, if you find something really good, what's the maximum that you would spend? For me, it's usually like seven or eight pounds. Like I wouldn't spend any more than that and it definitely depends on what it is. But for me, what I've been doing is going on Vinted and Depop and I've been using the filters so well. So I've been clicking on the category so that I get like women's clothing and choose like jumpers and sweatshirts or something. And then I've been using the price range and going like from two pounds to seven pounds because a lot of the time people put it as one pound and then they want offers so they're not actually selling for a pound. So I cut out the one pound and I start from two pound and then I go up to seven because that's sort of the cut off point. Like I wouldn't want to spend anything more because then it doesn't really feel like thrifting. I love a good bargain so even if you wanted to do like two to three pounds then there's so many clothes that are going for three or less. So honestly, especially on Vinted, stuff is so cheap and it's so good. So I got so much stuff and I'm, I'm so excited for you guys to see the stuff that I've picked up because oh my god. I got this vintage Topshop mesh top, sort of like off the shoulder and it's bright pink and I'm not sure how I'm going to style it but it's so cool. Then I got this big sweatshirt. This one was from Depop. Yeah, unreal. Then I got the little purple long sleeve Calvin Klein. And then, I love this one so much. I got this from Vinted as well. It's like a baby pink long sleeved top and it's Tommy Hilfiger. It has Hilfiger written in little diamantes on the front. It's so 2000s and it's so cute. I'm, I'm just going crazy for it. Next, I got this from Vinted as well. Oh, it's silky as heck. So soft, it's unreal. My goodness. Oh my god, this is so lush, honestly. Wow. Oh my god. And look at that. This is a large. I'm thinking about cropping it because cropped cardigans and stuff are so big at the minute. So I think I might crop it. I just love lime green so much at the minute. Green is just the best colour ever. And I got this off Depop. <gasps> look at the blue. Oh, the stripes. This one I got as well. This is on my Instagram, at Milk No Sugar. I got this top in a swap on Vinted because a lot of people do swaps as well. So even if you don't want to pay anything, ask people if you can do a swap because I got this for free. So yeah, really, really good. Last thing from the online thrift stores is this skirt. It's like a burnt orange skirt with this gorgeous little triangle geometric pattern on it. Just amazing. Okay, I'm going to really quickly zap through everything that I got for free. This is everything else. As you can see, I got a lot of stuff for free. 
there was absolutely no fast fashion involved it was all secondhand everything that I did pay for is honestly unreal I love it and it was still a bargain for everything that I got but even after picking out everything that I liked from my friends bags of stuff um, obviously that was a lot of clothes that I got from them but just hold on this is the bag of stuff that I'm selling or donating honestly I am so happy with all of this it's ridiculous I am so chuffed I am so happy with everything that I got I love everything that I got from Depop and Vinted I love everything that I've ordered from the car boot sales and I love everything that I picked out from my friends bags full of stuff and everything else is up on my Vinted and my Depop it is usually at lottie.eliza with two a's on the end so like lottie.eliza <laughs> Go follow my Instagram at Milk No Sugar to see how I style some of these clothes. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and that it gave you some inspiration and give it a like and subscribe. Yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Bye!